Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lins, and with the easier availability of games thanks to services like Xbox Game Pass, it's much simpler than ever to get your game on. So in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox wireless controller to your Windows PC. Now if you have one of the most modern Xbox One wireless controllers, the easiest way to pair them is using Bluetooth. That is, if your PC or laptop has Bluetooth. But if you don't, or you have one of the older wireless controllers, we'll get to you in a second. So assuming you have Bluetooth capabilities on your PC, go into your start menu and go to Windows settings. Then select devices, then click on Bluetooth and other devices. Now select add Bluetooth or other devices. On the next menu you'll need to select Bluetooth and now it'll start scanning the nearby area for available devices to pair to. Now at this point you want to grab your Xbox One controller, power it on by pressing the home button and then press and hold the pairing button on the top edge until the light starts blinking. Now this puts it into pairing mode and at this point you should see it appear on that list on your computer screen. Select it from the list to connect and you're done. You can now use the Xbox controller with your PC. Now if you don't have Bluetooth on your PC or you have one of these older wireless controllers with the shiny plastic around the home button which doesn't have Bluetooth, you're going to need an Xbox wireless adapter for Windows, like this. This particular one is the older design, it's since been upgraded but it does the same job. So you plug this into a spare USB port on your PC then press and hold the pairing button on the side. The light on top of this older model will start flashing. Now at this point you just power on your controller the same way as the other one and then hit that pairing button on the side until the light starts flashing. Now the controller and the adapter should automatically speak to each other and connect up, you don't need to do anything else. Now whenever you launch any games on your PC and your controller is active and connected, you can play your games with your wireless controller. It's super simple and for Xbox gamers like me, more convenient than using a keyboard and a mouse, especially on non-gaming laptops with not so great trackpads and thin profile keys with little travel. So that's been it, we hope you found this useful, if you have please do hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on social media, and I'll see you again in the next one.